This is a French vanilla. I think this is an iconic Canadian drink. Has a wonderful vanilla flavor, aroma, creamy. And I'm gonna show you how to make this easily at home for you to enjoy. Let's get started. Now, for those of you who've never had French vanilla before, this is what Tim Hortons, who sells the French vanilla, have to say on their website. So it sounds exciting. It sounds like it's gonna be fun but it doesn't really tell you much about what is the drink actually. Now, if I had to describe the drink, I would say it's a vanilla lover's delight and it's like a cappuccino with a sweet, intense vanilla flavor. And what's not to love about that? Most of my memories with French vanilla is university life, going to and from classes, that along with my favorite cafe mocha, which you can see how to make over here. So you want to pour in your milk in a saucepan like this and then just bring it into a nice gentle simmer. You want to keep stirring it from time to time to prevent it from burning at the bottom. And you can see a bit of that steam rising from the milk. Let that steam tone into a gentle simmer and just keep stirring. Now while that milk comes up to a simmer, let me give a quick shout out to Magical Cooking who recreated my s'mores hot chocolate using some colorful marshmallows, dark chocolate, and almond milk. It looked really incredible, and I'm gonna try to find some colorful marshmallows. If you ever wanna tag me on any of my recipes which you've created, be sure to use my Instagram link up here. Now this is some good quality vanilla bean paste. It's not extract, it's paste. It actually has ground up vanilla in here. And I really want you to taste this before you start adding it just so you can then really adjust this to your liking. And just look at that spoon, you can see those little bits of vanilla from that vanilla bean paste. And this is gonna be incredible. Again, you always wanna taste and adjust and add more. I'm gonna go full blown, two full tablespoons of vanilla. It may seem like a lot, but we're making this all natural. There's no artificial flavors in our version. And the main part of this French vanilla is the vanilla and there are so many different types of vanilla products you can use. Vanilla extract being the most diluted version of it. And uh, if you go all the way up to using vanilla beans or vanilla powder, that would be towards the more intense side. Now it's kind of impossible to easily find vanilla powder. And while you can make it at home by putting the vanilla beans in the oven and then letting them dry out and then grinding them up. It needs like so much more time commitment and investment into a, a spice grinder or a coffee grinder just to get that perfect fine texture when you blend it into a powder. And nobody wants to do that kind of work just to have a quick drink. This needs to be approachable. So I would suggest that you go and find vanilla bean paste. That's the best alternative to using like the whole vanilla beans instead. Now just to adjust the sweetness, add in a bit of sugar. You can use whatever sweetener you like and add as little or as much. Give it a taste and you really want to look for a intense vanilla flavor and aroma from this. Just look at those little beads of vanilla floating in that milk. That is incredible. Now, while that's happening, I'm gonna brew some coffee and today I'm actually using some French blend coffee which I just happen to have. I'm not really a coffee drinker so I just work with what I have but you can go for like a more vanilla or something with sweet notes like maybe a chocolate flavored coffee. Okay now let's talk about the actual assembly of this drink. So it's one third part of the coffee which I'm filling out here and then one third part of that beautiful vanilla milk that we warmed up and the top third is the vanilla and milk froth. Now you already have the vanilla milk warmed up, so take half of that, froth it up using automatic or manual frother until it's foamy and fluffy, just like this. And now I guess literally the creme de la creme is lifting that light foam from your bowl and spooning it onto your cups. And yeah, you can put more milk if you want, you can put lesser foam, but I just loved loading this up with all that foam. 
Hey, if you learned something today in this video, then be sure to let me know in the comment section down below and hit the subscribe button if you want to keep learning in my future videos. I put up new recipes every week and to help get you started, be sure to check out my five free tips on how to make cooking more fun for you in the kitchen. Now you get some brownie points if you have some pumpkin spice lying around, but if you don't, just sprinkle that top with some cinnamon and you have a beautiful looking drink right here. That'll make it even more special. I'm serving this with some cinnamon, cinnamon buns and topping it with my homemade mocha sauce. This one's definitely a great treat. And I want you to share the video with somebody who loves Tim Hortons or who loves Canada and somebody who loves vanilla and wants to switch things up from a hot chocolate. This drink will go amazingly well with my easy pumpkin spice cupcakes. For more hot drinks just like this, be sure to check out my playlist.